7th um, and it's a Monday. Today is the first day that the workers are um, like working on the house and they're going to finish or partially finish um, the master bedroom, the master closet, and the master bathroom, which I've been waiting to have finished for so long. Um, so right now they're prepping everything for drywall. So let me show you guys what they're doing. I had to move all of the clothes from the room out into um, the living room, but we'll walk in here and I'll give you guys an idea of what it looks like. They took these out. This is the room. Um, you can see, obviously, they put all this tarp on the floor, which is so good to keep the like drywall from getting everywhere. Um, they right now are just like buffing up those spots. Um, you can see all those spots that they're fixing and they're making them ready to like paint so everything will be like smooth and flat. There's spots up there, um, spots up there, spots up there. And then in here, um, they're finishing up the bathroom and then just getting the ceiling ready. Um, they wanted to do the walls first, I think because they're gonna put in um, like the like knobs and stuff, which is really exciting. Then in here, um, they're also doing the same thing, just getting everything ready for paint, which is so exciting. Um, you can see all these spots they buffed over. They've only been here for a couple hours and they've already like finished all of this, which is so nice. Um, I had to move all that stuff out, which was such a pain. But this makes me so excited because I'm realizing how close we are um, just to getting like this room done and having like a finished space in the house so i'll keep you guys updated um each day just to like show you guys what they're doing um then obviously when everything's all done um we have them also doing the basement so let me show you guys what they're doing downstairs down here um in the basement they're gonna finish the bathroom wall so you can see um how they're kind of like getting this started down here um really excited to get this one done this one obviously has like a little bit more work we had to tear every Everything out because we got all new plumbing down on the floor um, but the same people who did the upstairs bathroom are also going to do in here as well I was texting Brady today and he was like we had no idea what we were getting into when we thought we were gonna do like a renovation like a home renovation and live through it I 10 out of 10 11 out of 10 would not recommend to live through a home renovation it is so hard like as you guys can see um, I like moved everything out of this room except for like our bed but then like obviously we're sleeping on our bed tonight so let me show you guys where all of our blankets are all of our blankets are up here with like their comforter our pillows like our nice cozy soft pillows everything I showed you guys from Target it's all up here um, and I just literally threw it here so that we can um, just grab it later tonight and we're gonna have to do that every single night pretty much um, until it gets done. But I know that it'll all be worth it. I'm really excited for it to be done. I The only thing that I would say um, that's worth living through the renovation is if you find a house that's in a location that you cannot replicate. Like here, living on the lake, it just, you can't replicate the space and the location. Um, there's other houses on the lake that have come up, but they're in like a cove, they're not like, in open water like this one let me show you guys the water if you guys just don't remember what it looks like there's more of their stuff but if you look out here this is literally our backyard like literally our backyard right there it's so beautiful obviously it's like it's a little bit more of a cloudy day today but as you can imagine just like going off the water it'll be so nice um, this will be our first full summer here so it'll be exciting um, to get out here our boat actually is right over there at the neighbor's house she's allowed us to keep it there um, until we get our dock fixed obviously you guys can see like the roof is off um, but we got an estimate I told you guys it's gonna be like 26 K and they're gonna do it um midsummer so yeah but this is like so exciting i love um just being able to see the lake and now that it's warm and it's not like frozen anymore it's such a pretty view that's the update for today i'll give you guys another update tomorrow when they do more stuff um it's gonna be a wild next couple days um i think they're gonna be here for a couple weeks because they're doing like i said the drywall in all the rooms and then we're having jay um the guy who like manages our rentals he's gonna come in and he's gonna do paint in the whole 
um, room and then they're gonna put in the fixtures, the plumbing, um, so we'll actually be able to use that bathroom. The toilet is already in and it works. Brady used it yesterday, <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm excited. So I'll keep you guys posted and I will do a full like bathroom renovation, like full video when it's all done. Um, I'm just like over the moon about it because I know it's gonna be done very very soon well at least those couple rooms it is wednesday and this is what the room looks like um so i haven't showed you guys um anything since monday but they finished up the ceilings and then they got in um like all the wall is ready for paint like all the drywall and stuff is up thing i'm most excited about is the bathroom they finished the ceiling in here which it looks so good um i just love how it turned out they're getting ready to put in like the ceiling um, light fixture and then they're gonna put in the little like faucet and stuff um that's all what this is over there I love also how they have like everything covered up um, and that just keeps like any messes from being on our uh, tile, which is really nice. Um, so yeah, everything is pretty much ready to like be put in, in the bathroom, which is exciting. Also, I did not realize how fast they would work, which is so nice. It's literally Wednesday and I feel like they've done so much already. So I'm getting ready to go do a little shopping, um, which that like will be up on my um, channel before this video, but you guys will be able to see um, and then later whenever I get back I'll do like a little update of like how everything Monday the following week. I think it's the 14th I think House situation still bathroom is not completely finished. I will show you why in a second um, they did finish the ceilings in the um, in this room which is really nice and very exciting. I'm actually getting ready to go to Lowe's because we're gonna pick out our kitchen design, which is like, <gasps> ah, I can't wait. Oh my gosh, I'm like, it's it's happening. Like the house is moving. Like, not that I didn't know that, like it has been, but I think a lot of the stuff that has been done has mostly been stuff I can't see. Like when we like did all the plumbing, like you literally can't see that. Um, you just fix a lot of other things that literally like to me they matter obviously in the like grand scheme of things but like you can't see it so now we're starting to see changes with the stuff you can see let me show you guys the bathroom and the situation in there so they painted the ceiling and it looks incredible and they put the little light fixture in which i'm so happy about they also got in our um light fixture or not light fixture wow i am a goof they put in our um like faucet and um yeah so that's there's that i'm gonna put you guys up here they also um are gonna bring in the glass next tuesday it's gonna be right here i mean it's gonna be tight because the toilet is literally like i don't know if you guys can see right there like literally right there so it's it's gonna be tight but i mean what are you supposed to do one idea i know that you guys knew that we kind of toggled with was the idea of not having a bathtub in here and doing the shower on this bar wall but to me like that was like a non-negotiable like i need a master bath with a big tub in it um so we decided to leave the tub and i'm glad that we did um the glass is literally going to be right here i can tell the brady's use this toilet because there's like pee all over it and there's not even a sink in here so hopefully that dude is washing his hands um but what I like about this is that it goes straight down. So like if I wanna like get under the water, I can. But one thing that you guys told me on Instagram to make sure to focus on is to have a like faucet thing, shower head that like moves. Because a lot of you guys said you didn't like how if you were over here and like wanted to wash your hair that you had to get like directly under it and it was hard to like get certain parts of your hair. So. We got one that moves. It like moves in, moves over, moves out. So it's just gonna be really good um, whenever I, we're actually showering in here. I have taken so much of you guys' advice and you guys have been so helpful. Um, so yeah, the tub is not in and let me show you why. Okay, so this part right here, I don't know if you guys can see, um, the this like comes over a lot. So they weren't actually able to put any of the little like I don't know covers on these plugs because this part comes over too much and they couldn't put like the little these little things in to like screw it in same with over here 
um, they like drew on the outside of it right here. You can see this all needs to be cut. So we're calling the um, plumber back. He did a fantastic job. And honestly, I would rather someone go in too much than out too much. Cause imagine if he had like cut here and then like we tried to put like a cover on it and like, you know what I mean? Like if there is too much shown, it's like you can't go back and fix that. Um, and then down here, they said this is a little too tight and so they have to cut out a little bit of it um, so we could actually like get the um, shower tub thing. Wow, I can't even talk today. Um, another thing right here, um, we have to get the window on the outside. That's not something they have to do, it's something we have to do, but um, that and then getting in our light um, and the light fixture here, but we're not doing that until we get all of these little details in. Yeah, there's that. Um, I'm getting ready to head to Lowe's to hopefully um, grab, um, well not grab, but like look at house stuff. Um, we want to look at the kitchen design and maybe some other designs, but for sure the kitchen. So let's head there right now and see what we can find. <laughs> Of course, the first thing I see when I come in is like backyard stuff. I cannot wait till we can start buying like backyard seating chairs. Honestly, we probably could this year. I really like this set. Like this kind of stuff just gets me so excited for summer. Okay, I really don't need to be looking at this because they're waiting back there, but these are so cute. And these are only $8.68 for all three of these. This is just the cutest little set. This kitchen is like the dream. We actually want a white kitchen, but I don't think it's actually gonna look like this one at all. We do wanna have gold hardware on ours, um, but looking at this, like I kinda like how shiny this is. This is just so like bright and pretty. Really love this. So what do we, so right now, so far, where do we have this like pull out like? Uh, we probably want at least one or two that don't have any. I like that. Not this one. Not that one. No, I like this. Just no. I'm just I'm just making sure. I like I like that one. <laughs> I do kind of like that one too, though. So this right here is the kind of cabinet we're gonna get, and this is the color. Um, the reason I had to show you both is because obviously this one has like all the divots and stuff on it and this one doesn't and that's how we wanted it to look. Um, so it'll be like really smooth. It obviously won't have that wood part on there. I really like this color and this design. Out the countertop, which is fine, but the options are so busy and we want to get quartz, but everything is so busy. Like, okay, let me show you the vibe that I'm going for. Okay, so these are all the quartz. And this is like the vibe that I want, like barely anything on here, like barely, like just a little bit of something, but this is not quartz. And so the ones that they were looking at was that one over there. And then they were saying, look at this one, but I didn't really like this one because it has like a gray undertone almost. So there's more over on this side. All of these are also quartz that I can look at. I just need to figure out like which one I want. But there's so many options. Okay, I think I found the one that I want. This one right here is a quartz and it's like not busy. You can barely see the design on it, which is kind of what I want because when you add it all onto your counter, it gets a lot busier. Um, I like that this one barely has like anything on it. Um, this is what they were saying that I should get. And this is just too busy. This is actually what we used in the flip. It's really pretty. It's just like too much for what I was thinking. Um, I really like this one. So I think this is what we're gonna go with. Babe, you wanna come look at this?
Why are you laughing at? Is it? No, there's there's F. Oh, yeah. Please ask somebody. It's like green. Yeah, oh. this, one, this one works. It's the only one. That's how I like it. You like it? I like it. That one, I like it. See, I think you look at the flip to compare, like, the one we get to the flip compared to this. This is what I mean by this. This is what you want to do. Yes, look at it. It looks like, like it's pretty, but it's like way busier. And then if you look at this one, it's like barely white. Uh, that one has like speckles. Yeah. <laughs> you don't like these these. <laughs> you don't like I'm with them. her on that one. <laughs> that one I'm like, mm, speckles. But this one, look, this is what I've talked about. Like, because once you put it on all the counters, you'll be able to like see a lot more. So the less bins you get, the better. We can get that one. Go oh, ahead. Yeah. yeah, it's gorgeous. Yeah. Thanks, Jay, for backing me up. <laughs> This is the sink that we decided on. Honestly, the big like farmer sink sounds nice, but I need two sinks because like it's just more functional. Like I feel like a big farmer sink, I would get really overwhelmed um, like with dishes and stuff. And this is just like so much more practical. Four of those. So each one is an 18 inch cube stacked on top of each other. Perfect. Yeah, uh, we left the base filler in just in case. We left one wall filler in just in case. Okay. Refrigerator end panels, all plywood. So just figuring out the price of the countertops and while they do that, I wanted to show you that in Lowe's, I did not know this, they have a ton of like dividers and stuff and like organizers. They have that, they have these like tons of stuff to make your house like more organized which is really exciting to me because you guys know that i love stuff to be super like organized and put together and it's all literally at lowe's like everything that you would need um and i like this because i feel like sometimes i'm like constantly looking on amazon for stuff like look at that like just it's all here um so now i feel like whenever we get our kitchen done i will literally just come in here and i won't look anywhere else and I'll like find everything that I need in here versus like looking all over for stuff. Like these are little freezer bins for fruit. Um, they had a picture. Here you go, so you can see like, we put all your fruit in there. Um, I just really like how organized like everything can be and it's all here at the store versus like looking all over for it. So it's like in the wrong spot. I think we found what we want. Uh, so the cabinets, I think we're gonna be able to, wow, this wind, let me get in the So, the cabinets, we actually think that we're gonna be able to find, like get them for a good price. Um, he said it was, for the cabinets, no countertops or anything. Um, I wanna say he said like $14,000, I think, and that's with a discount. Um, they were able to give us a discount for some reason, I can't remember why. Um, they said that we could get like a 30% off discount if we did like a credit card 0% interest and so we thought about doing that and then just like paying it all off and then the other option was okay there was another discount I walked away for part of the stuff when I was showing you guys like the dividers so I missed cut some of the conversation but um and then the countertops alone are seven thousand dollars and some change so that's definitely a little pricey so um brady comes back on wednesday to decide if like these are like what we for sure want and he wants me to like price match at menards um and a bunch of other places but pretty much he just wants me to make sure that like the, these are the countertops that i want um which i'm not necessarily like oh my god these have to be the counters like I feel like I had such a hard time deciding things when I first um, started looking for home stuff and then we've been looking for so long and like like I don't know doing home stuff for so long that now at this point I just literally am like I will buy whatever like let's get this house rolling like today Brady was like should we like buy the counter so we guess buy it today he's like well let's think about it like we'll do it Wednesday so like he, I think, is more of like a let's, you know, think about it and um, make sure this is 100% the right decision. And me, I'm just like, let's pull the freaking trigger. 
and just do it. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna end the vlog here and um, I think tomorrow I'm probably gonna go look at other cabinets and like price match and stuff. Maybe if I can get time, I have so much stuff to do. One thing about doing home stuff is it's like so hard when you have like a full-time job. Like I see why people hire like actual like home people to do this stuff and like we literally have a full-time person that we've hired for like our flips for rentals and then like we also use them for our house and stuff where he'll like like example whenever we had to call like the plumber and had to call like the tile people like he did that so he does a lot of stuff but there's some stuff like this like obviously we had to be here because like we had to pick out certain things um and you guys saw there's so many like intricate details to like a kitchen it's like well do you want like three drawers or do you want two drawers here or do you want like a trash can here or do you want like there's all these like small little things and truly if you have the budget to have like a designer definitely use them but if you also are good at designing yourself like I have a very good eye for not necessarily for design but for what I personally want like I don't think I could design for someone else but I can definitely like tell you exactly what I want and what I don't want um so like if you are that kind of person like I'd say you don't necessarily need one but if you are not you need to have someone so Anyway, um, I'm gonna go get some gas and we're gonna end up the vlog here and um, I'll probably add in more stuff tomorrow. Um, yeah, I think I'll add in more stuff tomorrow whenever I go look at more tile. So I'll see you guys, I think, maybe tomorrow. <laughs> There's literally always something to update you on. Um, I think today is the 16th i'm pretty sure um we're going to the basement because i want to show you guys what they did down here so the bathroom is coming together it looks so much better i don't know if you guys remember if this was all just like board pretty much um and now it's like primed and ready to be fully painted they finished the ceiling we just have to paint over that um it's looking so much better i'm gonna try to walk through here i really need to put some shoes on and ooh. Um, so this room we actually, I don't think I've shown this in a while, but this is going to be Brady's office. Um, obviously there's a long way to go. This is the basement. So this is where we're going to make our gym. But one thing that we found out today, we had someone come and look at this. Um, the wall is being pushed in by about an inch. And so we're paying someone like pretty much 10 grand to, um, put like stability here to make sure that the wall doesn't come in anymore. Um, house was built like years ago, like so long ago. Um, and whenever we bought the house, the owner said that that has been that way for years, but we just like want to be sure that it's not going to like move in anymore. Um, like, could you imagine if we like got the floors and everything done in this house and then it literally like started shifting? That would be terrible, but I'm going to go upstairs and show you guys the bathroom, what they've done so far. In there I'm just trying to step over everything so more progress is being done on the bathroom they just did this this morning um, they are painting over this because they have to have a couple coats um, and so you can see there's like that little piece of tape so it doesn't actually get on the tile at all um, we called the um, guy who did the tile to come in and fix a couple things like this isn't like straight it's like starting to fall and we haven't used it yet um, same with this one um, I don't know if you guys can see, this one's a little bit more straight, but the other one is definitely coming down. It's like tilting and like imagine if water's on it or if we have things that are sitting on here, it just needs to be secured a little better. Um, and then they also, I showed you guys this, they need to cut this a little bit more so we can actually put in our um, stuff that we're using. Um, yeah, so they were supposed to come yesterday and then they had like a family emergency so they won't be able to be in and that's just how it goes with the world of fixing things like you really have to be patient and like you're always running on someone else's time so that's kind of the update we're going on a little vacation um for the weekend we're going to new orleans and um so while we're there um not a ton's gonna get done but that's like pretty typical because we don't usually have people in here over the weekend um but yeah so we're hoping they can come next week and get that fixed so we can like officially have that room done we um looked at 
in here or I looked at it with Jay who's the guy that we pay um, he's like contracted by us and we looked at this area because we're trying to figure out how we want this closet done and he is actually gonna do it for me which I think will be so much faster thought about having someone else do the closets um, but like the quote we got was literally like 25 grand and it's just like not feasible for us to like spend that kind of money on a closet i mean i would love to it's just like like we just can't um with so many other things going on and we want the closet to be done so um jay's gonna do it and we ended up ordering um what did we order we ordered um the kitchen stuff officially we ordered it on wednesday which is so exciting which was yesterday um and it's the 17th not the 15th um just looked at my phone yeah we ordered that so that'll be coming in soon and we'll be getting the kitchen done but it is really kind of sad that the basement hi bud it's sad that the basement like has that issue down there with um the like wall kind of coming in because that's just another massive chunk of money and you guys know that we like fix the plumbing and whenever we fix the plumbing um we fix it all throughout the house but that was like I don't know, I think 12 grand or 15 or something. And so like money just goes so fast. I mean, that right there, that chunk of money literally is my closet. So that's like why we're trying to be very conservative with like what we spend on things, um, especially things that like we don't absolutely need because you just never know what's gonna come up. Like obviously we didn't think that that was gonna be an issue and now it is. So I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna end it here. Um, I will give you guys another update um, whenever the bathroom's done. Hopefully the next update that I give you will be like bathroom's finished, like hopefully, but you just never know because this wild world of renovation stuff is, takes so long for everything, like literally everything. I hope you guys are loving the renovation videos. I've really been loving making them because sometimes I forget like how much gets done until like I do a whole video and then I'm like, oh my God, like so much has changed since like we first started. So um, yeah, we're getting there, it's taking it day by day, but we do have plans for uh, people to come in April 1st and they're gonna like, start knocking out the floors and stuff so that's really exciting because um we've been waiting on the floors mostly because we didn't really want to not have a space to like live um we wanted the bedroom to be somewhat finished so that like when the floors are being done in the living room and the kitchen and stuff we can like have our bedroom space but we haven't really have our, had our bedroom space because they've been working on the bathroom and stuff so now that it's like getting finished we feel a little bit more comfortable like going out into other rooms um so yeah anyway i will see you guys in the next video love you so much let me know if you guys are loving the renovation videos because i love sharing everything with you um i just always have a lot of fun with it and that's the bathroom it's on its way. This is the last um, like renovation little like clip that you guys will see because um, it's March 23rd and this video actually goes up tomorrow. But I was thinking of like not showing this to you guys, but it just didn't really seem right because you guys won't get another update until we get back from our trip to Mexico. Um, when we get back from our trip, they are actually gonna have so much change. So. We, well, let me first show you the bathroom. <laughs> this, this it looks so good right now. We got our glass wall, which I'm so excited about. It is a little tight, which does definitely 100 million percent make me nervous, but like, what are you gonna do? We either had to um, put the shower here and like put the tub there, or we thought about putting the tub, the shower here and like moving all like the shower stuff and not having a tub but that just for me was not an option so we actually had someone come over today um they could not fix this right away because this like bottom gold piece of um like the faucet there's like these extra lines right here and there's no like leeway so they're gonna actually have to like cut this open push these down and then put this on top of there so this actually goes into the floor. So they're gonna do that in a couple weeks when we're gone to Mexico. 
Um, and they got this little handle in, which is so exciting. Let's see if I can turn this on. This might be the first time you guys see this turned on. It might not turn on because, yeah, it's not on. <laughs> It actually is smart that it's not on because obviously if it's on and like the bathroom's not even done, like what are we even doing? Um, but this right here is where the vanity's gonna go. We just had no other option. So I think it'll look good once it's like in. I'm just not like fully used to um, having this glass wall here yet, but I love it because it's gonna keep um, this vanity from getting like wet and the toilet from getting wet, but there's also changes in the bedroom. If you guys haven't seen, this is the vanity, by the way, but the wall is painted. I don't know if you can even tell, cause it's actually a very similar color. They took off all the trim on the outside. I think the biggest way you can tell that this room is painted is this part is painted, which before, I don't know if you guys remember, it was like a, just like a weird, like off color. Yeah, don't mind that. We got back from our trip. Um, but they took off all of the baseboards because we're getting new baseboards um, and it's completely painted. The color is simply white from Benjamin something or other. I'll put the picture um, on the screen. But um, we took off all the baseboards and they have it completely painted. They do need to paint um, this wood still. We're gonna paint this white and then obviously put the baseboards back on. They're gonna put like the baseboards around um, that window and then they're gonna take these off because we're actually doing new ones there too. It's a little choppy outside as you can see. Um, little, little windy. Um, but yeah, it's so exciting that they painted it. It looks kind of the exact same color but it's just not like, splotchy um i love this color because it's really warm and inviting another reason why i picked this color is because the floors i don't know if you guys can tell so this part right here is like a cool tone this part right here is a warm tone i don't know if you can really see the difference this is like a beigey kind of and that's like a grayish almost but i really wanted to pull this color out i did not want this room to look like cold or cool or gray or like have undertones of like you know, anything that was like cool toned, I wanted to pull this out. So I made sure to get a white color that was going to be something that looks really warm, which this one definitely does, which I'm excited about. But there's even more changes, so let's go downstairs. So downstairs, this room is done. Well, not done, obviously. There's so much more to be done in here, but they painted this room. Um, it looks so much better, and they also put the vent light in as well. Um, this is gonna have a um, tile that's like a beige color, so this whole room will be like beigey, like creamy vibes. Also got our flooring, so I'm gonna go in here to our garage, because I wanna show you guys what it looks like, because we have so much of it. This is the flooring, um, it's like waterproof, got it um, like literally forever ago, and finally we're going to be putting it in. It's the same flooring that is in the bedroom. We're putting it all throughout the house, and they are going to get the floors ready for this while we're on vacation, which is exciting. It's also kind of daunting because either the house is going to be like fully finished, well not fully, fully finished, but like the floors will either be done when we get in or like when we get back from vacation or floors won't be done and we will be like walking on like the board stuff that's on the floor. Um, they have to like take the carpet out and then pull out every screw in the floor so that could actually take like a really long time. Um, they're gonna try to do that while we are, um, what's it called, on vacation. We're gonna be gone from, for a while. Um, but while we're gone, they're gonna try to do that. But I just don't know if they're gonna be able to finish it all. But I'm gonna show you the living room because it's probably gonna be the last time you will see the living room without the flooring, hopefully. While we're on vacation, they're gonna take out this carpet and then they're also gonna take out the carpet over here. And then they're also gonna take out the guest room, which is a whole hot mess. I'm gonna show you this guest room. I don't know, maybe I shouldn't. It's like really sketch. This is the guest room. No one sleeps in here or anything. We just have like a bunch of random stuff in here, but this will um, be gone soon, obviously. This is the floor, and this is what might be on the ground when we get home. Let's cross our fingers that it's not, but um, this might be We're just there. hoping that they'll actually be able to get the flooring in while we're gone, because otherwise it's gonna be an absolute nightmare. I did wanna come to the basement because down here is also gonna be changed when 
I don't know if it's gonna be changed when we get back or change later, but right now we pretty much just have like our stuff stored here. Um, but to get to the kitchen, we're actually moving stuff around up there, um, like some of the water lines and things like that. And to do that, they have to go into the ceiling and they have to go in through the wall. So that means that Brady and I are gonna have to move all this stuff, all the stuff from the guest room, all of the stuff from um, our bedroom, like all of that is gonna have to be moved because they're gonna be like working on stuff. Um, the only reason we have to move stuff from the bedroom is because they're doing like the baseboards. Yeah, that's kind of the update. Um, it has been a stressful freaking couple months like getting all this stuff together. We actually um, are just like most excited I think for this because this will be the first time, I'm gonna set you guys here, that I think we're gonna be able to really see a lot of changes. Well, maybe I'll set you there. You guys might be sideways. <laughs> yeah, it's super I sideways. I have a tripod and I just absolutely refuse to use it. Um, but yeah, this might be the last time that you guys are seeing this carpet in the living room that you're seeing um, just a lot of this stuff because things are gonna be changing. They're coming in um, for a full week while we're gone and then they're also gonna be staying after to like finish up stuff. And it's exciting that stuff is changing, but God, it's also so stressful because I know that moving stuff out of the guest room, which we just keep like a lot of our like toiletry stuff in there. We don't ever go in there for anything other than that, but like on that little like bookshelf, that's where we keep our, like everyday stuff. A lot of those boxes have like stuff we don't really use much, but like we use occasionally. So we have to like kind of get in there and then um, we're gonna also have to move a lot of our stuff but i don't know where it's gonna go because like our clothes i know jay he's gonna be working on um my walk-in wardrobe and my clothes gotta go somewhere so i don't really know where they're gonna go and also out here like while they're pulling up the floor like i don't know where this couch is gonna go um we're just gonna have to move a lot of that stuff before we leave which is exciting, but also daunting. So that's just the realities of living in and through a renovation. Um, it doesn't really get like easier, but it's definitely worth it. I know when all of this is done, I'll be able to look back and just be like so excited that it doesn't look like a freaking like trash house anymore. Um, just seeing how fast the bathroom has come along and seeing like the bedroom and how it's like kind of coming together and we don't have like a ton of stuff left just make me excited so anyway that's the end of this video the next renovation video is probably going to be kitchen stuff because they said the cabinets will be in in the next like i think they said i don't know four weeks or six weeks or something they said it was like pretty fast like turnaround um so the cabinets will be in soon and then the floor will be in hopefully um by the time that we get back and if it's not you guys will get to see that process um and then the bathroom is like right on the cusp of being done the only thing they have to do is put in the vanity which is super easy and then put in the faucet thing for the tub um and then obviously put like the baseboard around the window and that's it so i'm excited to decorate i'm excited to have a nice new bathroom um that's like halfway decent because <laughs> the other one is like so sketch like yeah. I would 10, I know I say this all the time, I 10 out of 10 not recommend living through a renovation unless you like absolutely love the location. Like you cannot replicate location, space or anything like that and like we can't replicate the lake in this like house. We got it for like a really good price because there's so much that needs to be like put into it and I feel like we're putting in our love and it's going to be like something that we can really call ours because it's like exactly what we want. Um... So yeah, I'm excited about that. So anyway, send all your good vibes because I'm hoping that the floor is done. By the time we get back, because it's not walking around on like freaking B board or whatever that's called, it's gonna be a nightmare. But you guys are gonna come along, whether it's a nightmare or it's a magical carpet ride, I'll share it all with you guys. So love you, can't wait to the next video to show you guys ah, all the renovation stuff. See you guys in the next one, <laughs> bye guys.